If you've wondered how to magically float products, this is how I do it. By floating products in midair, you add dynamic interest to your shot and elevates your work as a whole, getting it noticed by other people. So this is how I do it. So this right here is the secret setup. I'm calling it the Float Pro, but I also have a second version that I'm calling the Float Light. Both of these are really great, but the Float Pro I prefer because it's more stable and secure. All the parts that I mentioned to build this will be linked down in the description, so it makes it easy for you to get them and start building it yourself. So let's build the Float Pro first. What you'll need for the Float Pro build is one quarter 20 steel threaded rod, one quarter 20 nut, a hot glue gun and glue sticks, heavy duty mounting tape, an eye footage spider crab cold shoe adapter, and an eye footage cobra base. First, we take the steel threaded rod and attach the nut to one end and the eye footage cold shoe adapter onto the other end. Next, we take some heavy duty mounting tape, cut off a piece, and attach it to the product which we're mounting. After that, you'll take the rod with the nut on it and press it into the center of the product onto the heavy duty mounting tape. Then you'll take the hot glue gun and spread glue around the nut onto the tape to make sure it's got a nice firm connection. Be sure to try to keep it onto the tape because this will make it easier to remove later without damaging the product. And the last step is to attach all of this to the iFootage Cobra base. That's how you build the Float Pro. And when it comes to using it, it's really nice and secure because that base it's nice and sturdy. You can adjust the legs to get different types of stability and it also has a ball head so you can correct the product if it's a little bit off or crooked. Additionally, the best part is the quick release because you could take it on and off without having to sit there and screw off everything. It makes it so you don't accidentally tip the product off of the adhesion or just makes it really easy to set it down if you're not using it. So now that we've done the Float Pro, let's do the Float Lite. This is a much more cheaper and simpler alternative. It's not as sturdy, but it does do a decent job. And just like the Float Pro, we're gonna use the steel rod with the nut and the cold shoe adapter as the attachment piece to our product. We attach it the same exact way. The way that we keep this light is having a smaller and a little bit more affordable of a base. So this is just a cheap mini pod off of Amazon that you can get. Now you can attach the threaded rod with the cold shoe adapter right onto the mini pod, or you can actually get a Zion quick release setup, which makes it really easy just to pop it on and off if that's something you would like. So that's how I've built the float light. Of course, you can do whatever you want with both of these setups and use your own parts or pieces that maybe you have laying around. For instance, if you don't want to use a cheap mini pod and you don't want to use the iFootage Cobra base, then you could always get something like the iFootage Timber Pod. These are really nice, lightweight, but really sturdy and secure as well. You can change the legs and get some extra stability. So this would be a good intermediate option as well. Now, if you want to get the same exact type of shot that I did, you'll need one other thing, and that is a motorized Lazy Susan. The one I have has a remote control, making it easy to change the speed and direction of the spin. And then to complete the whole effect, I use DaVinci Resolve's wire removal to make the product look like it's magically floating. We just take out that steel threaded rod and it looks amazing. If you want to know how to do the wire removal in DaVinci Resolve, I already made a video on it, so check it out up here. I do hope this has inspired you to engineer your own product floater for your ads to make them more epic and amazing and interesting. There really is a lot that goes into making an epic product ad. Lots of questions like how do you make a floater? How do you do the wire removal? So many little things like that, which is why I made this video and my product video pro course, which walks you through every single step of the product video journey. So if you're looking to grow and expand your creativity and engineering and problem solving skills, that's the place to go. Product video pro, link down in the description. I really hope to see you in that classroom. But otherwise, hope you enjoyed the video. Put all your questions down in the comments. I will answer them and I will see you in the next video.